good morning everyone. Day 151 today. I'm going to be driving my friend Gordon's 440 today. So I'm here with my RS. It's looking a bit filthy at the moment. Um, did manage to get the wheels cleaned. But yeah, looking forward to a good day today. Gordon's going to be here shortly with his 440. We'll uh, get a back-to-back -back comparison of how it compares with my filthy RS. Dancing beat. Hi everyone, I'm your best friend, back in town again. Right, well, so here I am in Gordon's 440. Thanks for this, Gordon, really appreciate it. Set up, fat wheel rim, strange. It does feel strange to get your hand around that, eh? It, it's, it's very fat compared to the Focus. Yeah. Um, that is gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but you can talk me through that. Yeah. So what do I do to start? Foot on the brake. Big button over there, that'll do. Oh, that sounds nice. nice. Automatically always in comfort mode. Okay. All right, so if you want to sit there and be sports, sports Let's, start, sport, sport let's, plus let's or start in comfort mode first. Oh, I can see the head-up display. You right. can set that as well. It's not where you want to do it. No, that's fine, that's fine. I just, right. let's, let's, um, let's get going. Oh, that's smooth. Now, you were talking about this the other day. What's that, Which the stop-start? button over there. Even though it doesn't annoy you, it annoys me. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it does a lot of people, judging by my previous video. Okay, yeah, mirrors right. are all set, we're good. Oh, it is a comfortable ride. I was getting shaken across this. Well, you'll feel it when we go out in mine. Oh, absolutely. But you'll see it very different when you go off and put it into the Sports and Sport Plus. Mode. Okay, well, we'll do a few miles that like this. And right. then we'll try it. It is, it feels it is a enormous. big car, isn't it? Oh, the steering's really light at low speed. Yeah, and that's deceptive. Like proper Does it deceptive. weight up at speed? Well, it we'll find out. We'll find out. Find out. Okay, so it's auto locked. That's something the Focus doesn't do. Indicators work. That's unusual. And we're clear. So and let's get going. Thing. Right. If you just put it down, you should pick up quite nicely. Oh, that's nice. So shifting at about 4,000. Shifting at about 4,000, oh. no real sense of urgency, you know, it's... Oh, it's how coming. comfortable is this? It's just wafting along. Today, I'm not going to be talking about all the gadgets and tech that this car has. I think we can all agree that it's when we compare what the Focus has to what this has, this thing is far and away ahead in terms of gadgets, technology, um, all of the connectivity. It's got a SIM card in it, hasn't it? Yeah, and you can control it with your phone. <laughs> You're gonna um, this. I've got this head-up display. Not really, you know, going to be talking about that today. It's just all about the drive. First impressions, having driven one mile, it is so comfortable. It's just like wafting along. Really comfortable. I'm quite surprised at the amount of road noise. I thought, ooh, I thought it would be a bit. I don't know, a bit quieter, but I guess with the really wide tyres, similar to the Focus. It's, it's got um, the bigger tyres on. Normally they come with 18 inches, these have got the 19 inch wheels. Okay, how wide are they? Nine, uh, what are they, 255s? Uh, and is it the same front and back, or are they staggered? No, 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 no they're staggered, so you've oh, okay. got different fronts and backs. But the 19 Ooh. inch rims are... We're not having nearly as much fun as those guys. No, I know, I know. <laughs> Mate, this is your car, I'm not about to start hooning it madly yet. Um, anyway, so yeah. Oh yes, that feels good. That feels really good. No, as good as that feels. That's smooth. Brothers. Give it a bit of a squirt, shall we? Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, it held onto the revs. It's not changed. Is it in no. automatic? Is it in manual? No, it's in automatic. Ah, uh, okay. And you can see now, you go with the flappy pedals, they'll work. Right, okay. But can you feel how the, the exhaust has just changed that slight bit? Yeah, it's it has. It is control. noticeable, it's noticeable. Let's give it another squirt here. Go for it. Wow. 
Okay, yeah, that goes. <laughs> Brakes feel good. Brake pedal feels good. That's nice and progressive. So we, when we um, we get through this village here, the road opens out at the top a bit. There's some nice corners. So I'll, um, I'll, I'll press on a bit there and see what it feels like. But so far, you get the sense of it being rear driven. Um, and you really do. You feel that when you get into something slippery and wet. Yeah. Oh, so no, when I'm we sure, go in a couple yeah. of weeks' time, we go to Rocket and we're going to go on that sort of. Mate, that's road. a week. Is it a week? That's a week today. Wow. A week today okay. where <laughs> we're drifting at Rockingham. So um, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a good day. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be epic. Right. So we're just getting to some slightly more exciting bits of road now. National speed limit ahead. This not putting my foot on the clutch. That's this the oddest thing. Okay, and off we go. So we have a national speed limit. I'm not going to hoon it too much here. So I'm driving Gordon's. 440, 326 horsepower through the rear axle, 450 newton meters. So it compares very closely to the Focus RS, uh, which has 345 horsepower and 470 newton meters. But I believe these things book out on the rolling road um, at a bit more than book, and the Focus RS is a bit less. So we'll find out in a couple of weeks. Uh, we've got Rockingham drift day next week, so. Gordon will get to really see what it feels like with all that power going through the rear axle. But how does it compare? So, is it a natural rival to the Focus RS? Perhaps not. It's got two less doors, um, two more gears, two less driven wheels, two more cylinders. Um, oh, and it goes so well. It goes really well. Well, the steering does weight up when you uh, when you get it loaded up in a corner. <laughs> this is a nice thing, Gordon. It holds onto the gears as well. That amazes me. I thought it would be, you know, um, dropping down. But this is in what mode am I in you're at in the moment? You're in comfort. I'm in comfort mode. You're the most badass mode there is. But it it's kind of like well, you're driving, so hang on to the gears. You know when. Um, if I floor it, then you come off. It doesn't immediately drop down a gear, which I thought it would. And that was my, that was one of the things that really made me dislike automatic gearboxes, the way they kind of take over from you. But this is kind of, kind of doing what I want it to do, which is a bit annoying, because I'm not meant to <laughs> like automatic gearboxes. Yeah, don't, don't. It doesn't feel as sharp. As my RS, but then you know it, the RS does have a very fidgety ride. This is, yeah, like wafting. Can you stick it in the firmest mode? You've now got the traction control off as well. Okay, well I'll be very careful. We can build up to this if you want to. No, 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 no. no. I'd like to try it in the in the in the sharpest, kind of hardest, firmest mode. Oh, I still my left foot. What's going on? It is a strange thing to get used to. Got here. No, we're clear. Ooh, this sounds nice. So, is it in Sport Plus? Does it automatically default to manual only, or no, no, it's still it's auto? It's still automatic. Okay, but you can override it like that. Fine. Yeah, it's really, can... really responsive to the paddles. That's something that surprised me. I expected a bit of a lag. No lag. And this isn't a dual clutch gearbox, is it? It's just a slush box. Yeah, it's a slush box. Yeah, a, a ZF. It does feel like a bigger car to me. It, it feels enormous. It feels bigger. They weigh about 100 kilos more, I think. Um, can I feel the extra weight? I think I can. I can feel it. Certainly not through the steering anyway, because everything's really light. But. You know, it does it does change direction. This is in the firmest mode now, is it? Yeah, that's okay. So that's firm. I think this in its firmest mode is not as firm as my RS is. No, 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 in yet. You're talking about your RS in standard. In mode? standard mode, yeah. Well, you'll yeah. see. We'll come along some of these roads in mine later in sport mode, um, 
a sports sport dampers mode, I mean, and um, yeah, we'll we'll get bounced out of the seats. It's quite funny. I know. <laughs> okay, we're good. nothing wrong at all. I can see why people rave about automatic gearboxes now, I really can. I kind of have to take back everything I've ever said about them. Although I've invested far too much time in, in learning how to use my left leg and I do enjoy driving a manual so well, um, I enjoy lipping and rev matching and heel and toe shifting and so on. Um, a huge amount, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I'd opt for a manual, but I can see why. You must have spent what people a decade about them. learning that. More than that, it was when I got my Clio Cup in 2003 that I first started. Well, there you go, then. Okay, so you invested 14 years into learning how yeah, to do this. That, that throttle pedal has got a nice flared bit at the bottom, so you can kind of get your foot over and, and blip it. And then, um, and then once I kind of, I, I've become obsessed with it actually. Get the sense, really get the rear driven sense being pushed from behind, which is what I, I was really hoping I'd feel. You do. I'm not sure I like the wheel, too fat for me, but then it's just what I'm used to. I'm used to something a bit thinner. Do you have the ability to vary the steering weight? Is that something you've got? Have I you don't come across know. that in the menus? I haven't come across that in the menus, so if it exists, I certainly don't know about it. sense though that it's going through just the one axle I've got the luxury of four uh, no, not four four, four yeah, wheels yeah. two axles yeah and that's what scares me a little bit about this car yeah have you had the back moving in the wet yep you have oh yeah intentionally or did it just catch you out one day it just, and you just me kind out. of slipped it's caught me out twice not mega granted that's where you thought, ooh. Uh, enough to, um, yeah. to enough get a to bit squirrely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you thought, ooh, okay. Now, what I like about my car, as opposed to yours, is I get to sort of, I can unwind when I want to. It's not always, do you know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah, always, mine's it's, a bit, the, the, the RS is a bit full, full on. on, exactly. You don't get a chance to relax, really. Um, it's very great. fidgety and very sharp. It's very sharp, but it's very sharp all the time. Yeah. And that's awesome. I mean, that's what's great about your car. At the same time, this is what's great about mine, is the fact that I get to... I'm on a serene little road right now, going 30 mile an hour. Yeah. I can hear nothing. I just put a bit of yeah, music exactly. on, and yeah, it's yeah. just a... It's just smooth. It's like sitting in your armchair, just driving. But when he wanted to be a bit punchy, it's punchy. Yeah. Yours starts out punchy, and then just goes to an extreme punchy. <laughs> it does, yeah, yeah. So we've got a little bit of dual carriage wear ahead, and a couple of roundabouts, so... Do you want sport we'll or comfort? I'd like sport, please, sir. Sport or sport plus? No, just sport. I'd like some traction control. <laughs> It was actually around this roundabout, it got a bit squirrely with me the other day. It had been raining, 
I just just slightly tapped it on. And uh, yeah. The traction control was kicking and then Yeah, it um it stopped the fun then. Yeah. Got really good throttle response. It's really sharp, really instant. Even more so, I think, than my car. Really? Yeah, I think so. Awesome. Let's just try again. Right, stay put. We're clear. Yeah, see, there you go. I could, get, I could get used to that's this. That's with the traction control on. Yeah, and with that off, we would have got quite comfortably sideways there. Hey, mate, in a week's time, I'm looking forward to having a go in this. <laughs> and you get a go in mine as well, of course, with drift mode. It's going to be good, really good. You'll see, when we go around those roundabouts in my car, my car, even with everything in place, it allows quite a lot of movement before it stops anything stops happening. Movement, yeah. But this stopped all fun before it, it intervened. Now I'm sure you can slacken it off a bit but hey this is your car and it costs 52 grand so I'm not about to go and start <laughs> putting it sideways. Not not until we're at Rockingham next week so yeah. Right so with the engine running put it into this so we've got that off. Sport Plus with driving experience switch. Da -da -da -da. Engage selector lever position S with the engine running. There, okay. Press the brake forcefully with your foot. Press the accelerator pedal down beyond the resistance at full throttle position and hold. Kick down. Okay, let me. A flag symbol. A flag ah. symbol. Yeah. Yeah, flag symbol. Yeah, okay, that's and it. it says launch control active. Right. Okay, so that has to be in. Does that mean it's in manual mode? It's I guess it is. Okay. It's still not manual. Don't worry. It'll. Okay, you'll okay. just take the handbrake off because that's always a good start. All right. Yeah. That was it. Ooh. We got a bit of a squirm oh, there. That's what I said to you. Yeah. That is. Um, that feels good. Quite nippy. That feels. Yes, yes. What does it feel like in the passenger seat? Always feels faster when you're not driving, doesn't it? Yeah, it felt pretty quick to me, mate. Yeah, yeah. Well, it felt quick from here, but. And now, presumably, I can This just... feels quicker than my RS. My, the, the, the RS what is, is your rapid. RS supposed to do? Well, from zero to 60? Yeah, 4.7 seconds. It should um, be quicker than you know, this. It's, it's about the, uh, the, you know, if you could tell the difference in feeling of, you know, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 of a second. But just in terms of the in-gear shove, the acceleration, this feels quicker. I don't know if it's my seating position, where I'm sat, just the way the power's delivered. It does feel quicker than, than the RS. Well, thanks, Gordon. I really appreciate anytime that. Anytime you want to take this, you're welcome. Man. What a car. What a car. Totally different to yours. Completely. But, it, they, you know, it's... Um, apart, but they're still... It feels good. It feels really they're good. They're parts of this car I love, and they're parts of your car I love. I don't think there's anything like an actual perfect car. One that does everything. No, no. But this, um, for me, this does a good close. job of coming close. Yeah, indeed. Ooh. Yeah, you you'll feel. feel yeah, yeah. And I hope we put it down to comfort. Still firm, but yeah, softens it off a bit. Well, that was that was a lot of fun, mate. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> and we're back. So, what surprised me the most? So now I can shut this off. Mm -hmm. There you go. What surprised me the most about that? 
the automatic gearbox. That, yeah, I, I can see I can see what the fuss is now. I see what people say and why they like them so much. Um, not convinced I'd go for it. I'm looking forward to getting back into that mm -hmm. and using my left leg again. Um, so let's jump in that and we'll go for a run. Same route. Absolutely. And um, yeah, see what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> 